Hey there, it's Pete over at The Samplist and today we are checking out Damage Guitars from Heaviosity. Heaviosity have painstakingly and lovingly created this Damage Guitar library and it has so many different elements to it. So we have guitar riffs, we have bass riffs, we have clean guitars, distorted guitars, we have playable clean ambient guitars, we've got different chunks and bits of guitar and bass playing to create our own riffs. There is so much love and dedication gone to this library but the amazing part of it especially as a guitarist is the fact Heaviosity and Neil in particular over there has just used these amazing instruments so we're talking really high-end high quality instruments amps effects been experimental trying different things creating all these different chains and the end result I'm gonna say right off the bat is absolutely spectacular so a bit more information the damaged guitars download at 9.57 gigabytes and they use the free player of contact so contact free 6.7.1 or better and it is NKS ready at the moment there is a huge heavy austin sale going on and damaged guitars are still at their intro price of $199 so it's $50 discount and if you have some eligible instruments you get an additional $20 off. And there is also a damage uh, rock glues pack which are drums that lock completely in with these different guitars. What we're going to do in the video because there have been several wonderful videos made about this and I wanted to do this more from a guitarist perspective. So I'm still going to do the usual um, overview, but again, the content, there is so much. I'm just going to pick out bits and talk about different categories, but not play everything. And you'll see why when I jump into the video. And then, of course, I've put it into a composition because the composition is where you see everything just gels together and see what it sounds like. And again, I have to say these guitars are just studio ready. You put them straight into your composition. You don't have to tweak at all, do anything to them. They sound amazing out of the box. And then, of course, once we've listened to the composition, I'm going to talk about what the composing experience is like and then finish off with my thoughts so without further ado let's jump straight in actually before i do that i am going to thank heaviosity for sending over damage guitars and damage rock grooves and i do need to point out while we do receive the libraries for free it does in no way influence our decision or thoughts or anything about the library and of course the developer does not see this video before it goes out but I will say just right now as soon as I heard the demos and I watched the walkthrough videos I was just so excited to get my hands on this library so now we can jump right in and here we go, we have damaged guitars from Heaviosity loaded up in complete control because as you know, I do everything in complete control. Now I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently. Um, still gonna do an overview, but there are so many amazing videos and these start with Heaviosity themselves, which just talk you through all of the content within this library because there is a huge amount. Now, I'm not gonna play through everything, but I'm gonna talk about the different categories and play lots of examples. So I've loaded up the heavy guitar riff menu. And these are kind of like the, the crown jewels, as it were, of the library. You just hold down a key. And you've got an amazing riff. And of course you can mix and match. You've got some great tra uh, transitions. So much fun. And these are recorded in three different keys. So using different drop tuning. So you've got A, you've got D, 
and you've got F sharp. So you've got loads to work with. So again, they sound incredible. And the transitions are brilliant. Now you can key switch, so obviously this is in D. If I go up to E. So the key switching really works. Obviously if you're going up to the high C sharp, it's going to sound a little bit bizarre because these were recorded down in D. So you can do if you want to and do some really crazy sound design. But I'm just going to keep everything down in the key that was intended. And then of course we have F sharp. so many cool sounds going on. Now if you can hear anything in the background there is a little bit of rain coming where I am. Now if you load up the combos every riff has its own bass part And the bass is so clean. So you've got bass parts for every single riff. And then if uh, you just want the bass. And you get the transitions as well. So you can put those on different tracks. You don't have to record the guitar and the bass on the same track, like the combo, but it's a very, very cool, easy thing to do if you need it. And then um, we've got different menus of these riffs. So uh, you've got heavy riff combo one, and then you've got two, and these are for each key as well. So you've got two full sets of riffs going on. So I'm gonna just break it down. Damage guitars in D, everything that is here in D, you get in A and F sharp as well. So um, we've got the combos, we've got the riffs, got guitar riff bits. These bits are incredible. And combining them, you can get some really cool things going on. Okay, so you can kind of manipulate. You don't have playable heavy guitars in this library, uh, which are completely chromatic, but you do have the ability to chop and um, just combine. So you get some really, really cool ideas. Then uh, we've got riff bit combo as well. So you can have the bass parts as well. Oh, hello. Very cool. Um, so you've got bass riff bits, then you've got chunks. So that's where you can just get a bit more creative. Um. Beautiful. More transitions. Uh, so you've got two banks of that, and then you've got heavy guitar transitions. So 
So in those really cool bits of lead um, are very, very useful when you're composing with this as well, if you're not playing your own guitars. And then um, that takes us over to the cleans. Again, same idea. <laughs> It's an instant mood setter. And I do use the scoring guitars a lot as well, and they kind of drive composition. So whatever chord progression you hear, you might want to use in your own composition. Of course, you can add the bass. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's just, obviously you get the clean basses, um, get clean guitar riff mix. It's a good point to highlight at this moment that these are uh, very velocity sensitive as well. So nice and quiet. And then we've got the ambient versions. And on the mod wheel. big doll in the middle. It's actually not doing anything at the moment, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we got different clean guitar effects. They're just incredible. And we've got some blooms as well. Play those three riffs together. Yeah, um, that wasn't actually right. So, but these things happen. Uh, but the ambient sounds are off the chain, and like I say, the getting sounds like that yourself as a guitarist, like Heavy Ostie have done all the hard work for you. Like getting ambient sounds like this is so difficult and the sound design is amazing heavy velocity always have fantastic wonderful sound design uh full of character very very rich and um these guitars are no exception so again as a guitarist i can really feel the, the love that's gone into these sounds so they're the blooms uh which are ultra ambient and then we've got guitar ambient mix Absolutely incredible. And then you got some um, sort of different ambient patches. So changing tides. And you can see the big knob in the middle at work. Lovely. So a couple of those. Now, I did say it's going to be a bit of a, a shorter go through, go through, walk through. Um, so it's the damaged guitars. Now, that's a D, um, A, and a sharp. If I just go back to all, um, there are some other, just find out where they are. There are some intros. Okay. So I managed to find them after all that scrabbling around. Um, I've had to make the resolution quite tiny 
on my screen and I don't have the best eyesight. So anyway, um, heavy guitar riff opener. You'll see the filter control go in the middle. So I'm just going to play. It's just such a classic effect. And there is a patch called filtering the riffs, which uh, these are in F sharp. I just love that filter. So really, there is lots to explore. Um, the final part is you have the sound design patches. which are fantastic. Absolutely delightful. I'll play one more. Uh, let's go for Reverse Los Angeles. Incredible. And you got the uh, entire damaged guitar, D, A, F sharps, and playable textures as single instruments as well. So you can go through and um, just filter as you feel the need to. But the organization is amazing. The sounds contained within are incredible. Again, like I say, I always say as a guitarist, but I'm just in complete awe of the high quality sounds you have going through this library. Now, before we move on to the composition, um, you've got the drums and the bass taken care of. And I'm just trying to find my H for velocity. Here we go. Um, so we have the damage rock grooves, and these are all linked together with the uh, different riffs. So you can see you've got A, you've got D, you've got the F sharp riffs, and then you've got the breakout patches, you've got full loop. So if I go for a full loop patch, and it's using the Damage 2 engine. Had to stutter that there. Um, but yeah, so if you're used to using Damage 2 or Damage Drum Kit uh, or Uncharted, um, so Uncharted 88 as well, which is the same one, absolutely at home with it. So you've got the full... I should turn stutter off, really. There we go. So you've got the full loop, and you can just use the component parts. And got designer keys. Whoops, a little bit higher. So those amazing reverses. Um, typical heavy velocity. You have the breakout versions. Got snares. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, you can just use parts of the rhythms. You've got the high, you've got the low, you've got the mid. It's just really, really cool. Um, and there's damage rock grooves. Oh 
und stuttering again. I don't know why, I quite enjoy it. But again, the quality of the rock grooves are amazing. And of course, you purchase these separately, or you can just get these on their own if you want. But they do all coincide with the different guitar riffs, so the A, D, or the F sharp. So that really is a quick overview. And I didn't want to spend ages just playing through everything. Part of the fun is just working it out uh, by loading instruments, having a play. I'm still working my way through Symphonic Destruction and that's been out for ages now and I use it on virtually every track. So always finding new, cool, surprising things. But if I do just quickly go back to the damaged guitars, um, just a really quick overview. Again, you could go to Heavy uh website, check out their videos, which shows all of this off. Um, lots of different effects, filter distortion, chorus delay, reverb. You've got the amazing punish uh, with uh, the twist control as well. Um, so lots of sound design. And then the big knob in the middle controls whatever you decide to use here. <laughs> So you can sort of have fun, really, uh, to your heart's content. So you've got drive gate space, envelope, EQ, and having a filter. The days of having to automate your own filter with this library uh, make it so you don't need to. There we go. All sorts of words. Um, you've got three different layers as well. So you've got all of these different guitars, different sounds, different bits. So you can customise all of the instruments. But I found when I was composing with that, I didn't really mess around with any of this stuff because out of the box it is incredible and it's so ready to be used in compositions it's untrue now what i've done is i set myself a one hour composing challenge to work with damaged guitars and damaged rock grooves and i threw in some other heaviosity libraries i do use heaviosity a lot and I wanted to see how well all of these combine. Also I picked up Vocalize 3 or Vocalize sorry 3 on uh, sale so because the sale has got another two weeks left highly recommended and I just wanted to use it in something so there we go. Damaged guitars, a uh, bit of gravity, Vocalize 3 and yeah a whole lot of guitaring. So Let's check out the composition and then we're going to talk about what it's like to work with. I've always said composing should be about fun and that's exactly what you have working with damage guitars. So when you combine it obviously with the basses and then the damage drum grooves, 
it just sounds incredible. But then for this one hour composing challenge, I decided to go for some other Heavyosity staples. So I threw in the damage drum kit and gravity, which I use for sound design all the time. So a couple of booms and some pulses. And then Vocalese 3, which I just picked up in the Heavyosity sale. Absolute bargain. I use one and two a lot. And the third one is just stunning. It's a great addition to the collection. But let's talk about the guitars. Now I started off with some playable textures and the sunburst finishes. The pads and the ambient sounds in this library are just incredible. But the guitar textures, they are melodic. So if you wanna do some chordal playing, and create some cool harmonies, uh, you can. So you can have a lot of diatonic movement with those playable guitars. And then I just brought in two guitar riffs. So they kind of automated and faded in. But this whole intro, just the guitars, is just dreamy. As a guitarist, it is so difficult getting ambient guitars sounding that clean because when you add effects, all the imperfections kind of get uh, repeated or echoed and just having these tones and timbres at your fingertips, it is incredible. So playable guitars, we've got melodies, and then, of course, we've got some diatonic movement, so it's fantastic. Now, in this section, just to add to it, I'm using the Damage Drum Kit and just really adding some cymbals, if I can find them. So just to sort of help it along. And then Gravity, uh, like I say, is just incredible for creating sort of bases for compositions and the sound design is amazing but I love the motion in it. And then we have the Vocalese 3, uh, which is the Kristen. Um, didn't spell that right there. And combining the whole lot together, you just got this glorious ambient introduction. Okay, and that takes us to the second section. Now you'll notice, actually I, I did delete them off the track names, but I'm doing everything in D. So all of the melodic stuff is really, really simple. And I don't want to sort of veer away from D. And you can use key switches and move around, but I just wanted to keep it all kind of together because I'm showing off different sorts of facets of the library. Now the second section is still clean. I'm using these distorted clouds to be like a sort of Brahm. So 
fuzzy panned towards the right. And then we've got the sunburst finishes just to add some more texture. And we introduce our first drum groove. And then a boom, a pulse, and a couple more plinky symbols. I'm not even sure that's a, uh, a phrase, plinky, but there we go. And then we have um, some clean riffs and the bass part that corresponds. So again, if I just take out the clean riff. just added uh, vocalies there as well and if you're a guitarist and you don't want to use the riffs supplied you can obviously play your own as well so I'm sort of approaching this review from a guitarist point of view and yeah just like this library is worth the price of admission just through its ambient sounds and its ability to create this amazing sound design but i love these clean guitar riffs anyway we're going to move on so to bring in the next section there's a tempo change um, so it goes up to 130 and i'm using one of the guitar bits and i added a flanger uh, I use an Artorio one, I did that, and we've got guitar bits, we've got a pick scrape, lovely, and I discovered on the uh, drum grooves that there are these amazing cymbal uh, or metal reverses, I did not press solo, let's press solo. I think they sound incredible. Now, going into that section, so there's a bit of a, a drum fill going on. It's not much of a drum fill. Just to bring that section in. So let's just hear it, and then we're going into the heavy part. Now, for this section here, um, the heavy riffs, I've actually combined two riffs together. So the bass and the guitar do the same. And that's the really cool thing about this library. While you don't have playable heavy guitars you've got all the different bits and you can just chop up the riffs to your heart's content now i've added um some guitar bits i love this kind of like rhythmical stuff and then some of the uh string bends i'm gonna keep the drum groove going as well so there we go
Okay. Um, I'll actually just cut off that one because I, I sort of chopped up the drum grooves and wanted a bit more variation, but it sounds really, really cool with just that one gone. So it's just guitars. And a couple of little things. Um, oh, Cubase bug. Love it. Always happens when I'm making a video. So this part here. I've just put a bit of Sound Toys Pan Man on that. And you can kind of hear that the delay bounces over to your left. It's quite cool. And that's it really. Uh, we've got these great guitar bits. Very, very cool. And of course, in the different keys that the guitar has been recorded, and you've got loads and loads of riffs to work with as well. So, yeah, it takes us to the last section. So I'm going to play this bit or this part from here, going into the last section. And there, I ran out of time. Just something notable, the drum grooves I broke down so it's just the bass pedal, and then it goes into the full rhythm. So that's the only notable part there. I'll just use a different riff and different bass part and added some little cymbals and then finished off with my favourite. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Now one little tip with Heaviosity uh, groove based instruments because I use DM307 more than I probably should. If you're going to do a stop or like a bar break just slightly draw your MIDI over. So you get a really cool um, ending beat. If you don't do that, it will just stop. Which you might want, because you've got that nice uh, cymbal choke, but I don't want that there. So let's go and do that. And there's a the composition. Now, if I sort of gave myself more time, I would just sort of keep writing with it. And the ideas really came out sort of really really quick and then putting it together um, I've used look at 12 tracks from Damage Guitars and then uh, another four from Damage Drum Cruise uh, Groove sorry and one of them was just a, a rendering of that reverse symbol so I could line up nicely and then Damage Drum Kit hyped just to kind of like dress some of the drums so yeah it just all works together beautifully and Really, that's what you want when we're composing. What are my closing thoughts about Damage Guitars from Heaviosity? I think the library is fantastic, and as a guitarist, I can really, really relate to the expense Heaviosity and Neil in particular have gone to to create all of these amazing timbres for us, having all these different effects, different amps, different guitars, different chains going on. It is incredible, but the playing is brilliant as well. It's really, really clean. There's no strange artifacts or weird noises. There's really, really precise cutoffs or the rhythms are laser accurate. It just slots together beautifully. And then having the bass as well, playing riffs and then having all the bits, like you have the guitar bits, which you can manipulate. 
and create really, really cool riffs with or break up the existing riffs. And then you could do the same with the bass is amazing. And then of course, I will recommend that you pick up damaged drum groups because everything links together again with drums, but the drum sound is amazing. And if you have damaged drum kit to work with it as well, just right out the box, you've got studio ready sounds you can use. You've got the option, if you are a guitarist, to play your own parts. And I did experiment with that as well, but I didn't want to use that for the video, so I wanted to show off the heaviosity only libraries. And yeah, it, it's just a lot of fun. So the heavy guitars, incredible. And you have so many riffs you can choose from and different keys. And again, I've already mentioned that you can key switch everything. Really, really fantastic stuff. There's nothing really quite like it. But the ambient guitars. Now, I spend ages trying to get my ambient guitars to sound this good. And it's so difficult. I've got plugins galore. I've got loads of hardware. I've got a Marshall lamp sat behind me. Um, some Bernie Ball Music Man guitars and a lot of Ibanez stuff going on. And having these sounds at your fingertips are incredible. So I love all of the pads and the sound design work. The playable clean guitars are exceptional. But of course, the riffs really, really cement it all together and having the bass working with those as well. It's just brilliant. So the way I see it, there are two sides to this library. You've got the, well, three really. You've got the clean guitars and you've got the distorted guitars, you've got all the riffs, and then you've got the sound design elements. And yeah, it just, yeah, it is fantastic. Do I recommend it? Well, you can imagine from the glowing um, words I've been using, yes, I certainly do. If you're a guitarist, there is so much use for this. If you're a non-guitarist, my goodness, you can get amazing heavy guitars in all of your productions. So, yep, check out the Heavy Ossie Cell and pick it up today. All that leads me to say is thank you once again to Heavy Ossie for sending over a copy of Damage Guitars. I did purposely wait to put this video out. So I want to see what everyone else was thinking about it. And everyone sort of picked up on the same high quality sounds and usability on it. So yeah, just my experience is this really is just a joy to work with. Let us know in the comments what you think and leave a like on the video if you like what you heard and please check out our other content on YouTube. Once you've done all that, if you could subscribe to our channel, that'd be amazing. Every time we get an extra subscriber, it means the world to us and it really pushes us to keep creating more content. Once you've done that, head over to thesamplist.com to see what's going on. We may have a competition coming up soon. And yeah, just keep making some awesome music. Until next time, take care and speak again soon.